There are several factors you have to keep in mind when aiming a skill shot. Firstly, there's a projectile speed and width. Different skill shots travel at different speeds and have wider hitboxes. And then there's projectile range. Some skill shots go further than others, and that means you can launch it from further away. However, today we will be comparing skill shots aimed at a target 750 range away to maintain a fair comparison. And then there's champion width, otherwise known as a hitbox. This is how wide or fat a champion is. The larger the hitbox, the bigger the collision detection range is. And then there's the enemy movement speed. The faster the enemy runs, the higher the chance they have to dodge your skill shot. There are also a couple of user dependent factors. Firstly, there's the ping or latency. The higher your ping, the later your actions are registered by the game. So a ping of 100 milliseconds means that a move command is only registered 100 milliseconds later in the game. And then there's the reaction time, which is how quickly you can react to something you see or hear. I recently conducted a poll on Reddit and it showed that most players have a reaction time centering around 250 milliseconds. The Cloud9 Pro Teams members average close to 220 milliseconds, which is a bit quicker. But there's a lot of variation in this, so I'll leave it to you guys to find your own reaction time. I've included the link to the reaction time test in the description, and you can take a look at that. There's one other factor I have not mentioned, and that's the cast animation. Each champion's skill or skill shot has a different animation. Some are longer and some are shorter. In my testing, a Nidalee Spear had exactly 200 milliseconds cast animation when I went through a clip frame by frame. Now, this data is not made available by Riot, so we'll have to take a step into the unknown here. I'm going to assume a cast animation of 200 milliseconds for all skills, which is a somewhat slower cast animation, and that's just to stay on the safe side. Before you view the results at the end of this video, I highly suggest you figure out your delay by adding your average reaction time to your average ping. For example, my average reaction time is 209 milliseconds, and my ping on a good day is 179 milliseconds, which gives me a delay of 388 milliseconds. Now remember this delay number, we'll get to it in a minute. Now, this is the formula I'm using to calculate the time window you have to click away and dodge any skill shot. Now for the assumptions, we're going to assume that the enemy is 750 range away, which is the same as Fiddle's silence range. Now we're going to assume that the skill has a 200 millisecond cast animation, and that the champion and projectile width is 100 units, which is the width of a Teemo, and that the enemy has 380 movement speed, which is what an enemy would have with tier 2 boots on an average speed champion. And that gives this equation with the variable being the projectile speed. Now the formula used here calculates the path taken to dodge the skill shot as being perpendicular to the skill shot. So if the skill shot is coming at you in a straight line, you dodge left or right 90 degrees to the direction. So on with the results. We'll talk about it in terms of two fictional people. First, we have Rob, who is a robot who is able to react instantly and has a zero ping as he lives in Riot's office. Next, we have Manny, who has an average reaction time of 350 milliseconds and has got a ping of 100, making his delay 450 milliseconds. Now, most of you will argue that 350 milliseconds is an extremely slow reaction time, and you'd be right. But when you account for the fact that you have to move your mouse and cancel any actions you're taking to actually dodge a skill shot, that's a valid amount. Now, here's a prime example Dyrus, who is one of the world's best players, dodges Nidalee's spear with an amazing reaction time in this clip. Now when I analyze this frame by frame, Dyrus reacted within 433 milliseconds. If you count the start time as Nidalee's cue cast animation, and the end time as the exact moment that Dyrus clicks away. Now most would agree that in that clip, Dyrus reacts extremely quickly. Now Manny, our dummy player, is able to react even faster since he's able to predict skill shots. And that's just to be in the safe side. Now let's go through some skill shots and let's see whether Rob and Manny can actually dodge it. I'll be showing you how much time Rob and Manny have to blink before actually dodging the shot. Now firstly, let's go for Lux Q. It's got a projectile speed of 1200, and Rob has got 562 milliseconds to react to it. Now Manny, if you take out his delay, he's actually only got 112 milliseconds breathing space. Now let's go into a different skill shot. Morg and Nidalee Q. They both have a projectile speed of 1300. Rob has got 514 milliseconds to dodge it, and Manny has got 64 milliseconds. This means that Rob is still able to dodge it, but Manny is going to find it extremely difficult and he has to react as quick as possible. 
Let's go to some more fastest go shots. Here we have the ever popular Amumu, Bandit's Toss, and Blitz Grab. They have a projectile speed of 1800, and this gives Rob 354 milliseconds to dodge it. However, Manny, with his delay of 450 milliseconds, has actually got minus 96 milliseconds. This means that he can't dodge it, unless his reaction time is actually faster than 350 milliseconds. Needless to say, if we go on to some fastest skill shots like Virus, who's got a projectile speed of 1900, this gives Rob 332 milliseconds, and Manny even less time, minus 118 milliseconds, which basically makes it impossible for Manny to dodge if Virus aims it right at the middle. Now, if we go to someone like Israel or Mundo, who's got one of the fastest skill shots in the game of, with a projectile speed of 2000, you can see that Manny's got minus 138 milliseconds, which basically means he's never ever going to dodge it if Mundo and Israel aim exactly at where the enemy is. Now, you might be curious how movement speed factors into this. So for the numbers I just mentioned, if the enemy had a movement speed of 410 instead of 380, they would have an extra 19 milliseconds to react, which isn't much. However, if the enemy is an extra 100 units range away, they get up to around 100 extra milliseconds, depending on the projectile speed, to actually react to the skill shot. So what can we conclude from this analysis? For one, we can tell that projectile speed is extremely important, but we all know that. The real theories that this video can prove is that League of Legends is a game that can be decided by tenths of seconds, if not less. Secondly, aiming exactly where the enemy is, right at the middle, can result in a successful skill shot, unless the enemy has extremely good reactions. Personally, I would aim all my skill shots exactly where the enemy is, and if they actually have the reaction time and skill to dodge it, then they should be able to walk free, but that's just my view on it. Ping can make a huge difference, that's the final point. In the above examples, if we give Manny the ping that I have, which is around 200 milliseconds consistently since I live overseas, then I would not be able to dodge any one of those skill shots since my delay is so high. Now, there's one thing I didn't mention so far in this video, and that's that I assume you're walking away from the skill shot. A lot of these skill shots are very easily dodged if you have flash or dash or blink, anything that gives you instant ability. Regardless, if there's one thing I want you to take away from this video, is that it's actually quite difficult to dodge enemy skill shots, and to understand that getting hit by skill shots is a part of the game. So please, the next time your AD carry gets grabbed by Blitzcrank, give him a break. Anyway, this was Diff the Ender, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Please leave a like and comment, and until next time.